there is one key thing that once you know how to use it you literally feel like you've just unlocked hacks for scripting once i mastered this thing i was able to go from barely being able to code a rock paper scissors game to being able to code a full combat game this thing is so simple that you'll be able to use it right after this video. I'll not only be revealing what it is, but also showing you how to use it to your advantage. If you're a starter scripter, this is your chance to find some valuable information. Because literally, back in the day, nobody told me how to use this. I had to figure it out on my own. Okay, so what is this hack, you might be asking yourself. I'll tell you what this hack is, but first, let me tell you a quick story. There was a time, just a couple of years ago in 2022, where I was completely stuck on scripting. I felt that I could only do simple things each time i try to do something more ambitious it would just turn out very very buggy at best most of the time i tried something advanced it didn't even work as expected at all naturally frustration started to slowly consume me up until the point it was turning into anger yes i would have loved to throw my computer out the window at this point so if you're someone that feels that you need to punch your computer with all your might just know you're not alone so how did i come out of this situation well through trial and error i found one thing literally just one thing that i didn't have that was greatly hindering my progress all right now what was this thing it's having the ability to debug i have actually noticed that debugging has huge value for scripters and if you don't know what debugging is simply put debugging is a process that allows you to locate precisely where the error is so that you can fix it i know it sounds complicated but it's actually super easy in nine out of ten cases for this you want to use the good old print yes I'm talking about the normal prints. So when you're coding, you have your script, which is a bunch of lines of code, right? And sometimes you have a bunch of scripts that are connected with each other. For the example I'm about to give you, I just made a script that's supposed to make your character invisible once you touch that red part. As you can see, I'm touching the red part, but my character is not going invisible. Now, 2021 and early 2022 me would have just said, huh, I wonder why it's not working and start going through the script over and over and over again. And if I was lucky, Okay. I'd find the error. Now, what most good scripters will do is they'll add a bunch of prints throughout the whole script and see how much of the code actually runs and how it runs. For example, add a print saying touched at the start of the touch event and one at the end saying touched too. Then add one after the if humanoid saying humanoid found. After this, add a print before it loops through all the character parts saying about to loop. So right about here. Okay, now add a print in the loop saying turned vita name invisible which will tell you what part of the character just turned invisible r15 has 15 parts so it should print 15 different parts right and then add a print after the loop saying loop ended okay so what do we have here so each time the part is touched it will print touched and then if it finds the humanoid inside the parent of what it just touched it will print found humanoid then it will get the character and then print about to loop right before it starts looping right after that every loop is going to turn the part invisible and print that that part just turned invisible so you'll know it's looping right and then after that's done it's going to print loop ended so you know the loop has ended and in the end after all of that's done it's going to print touched Two. now let's test again as you can see it says touched and then it immediately says touched too without any of the other prints we've set in the middle and it's not even printing the found humanoid we put right after the if statement what does this mean it means that the script jumps from here to here now usually when this happens especially when an if statement is in the middle is because the requirement is not met so let's try checking what the requirements are there's just one requirement it says if humanoid okay so if it finds what humanoid is so what is humanoid in the script so humanoid is equal to character column find first child humanoid but as you might be able to see it has a space in the end so the script didn't find any instance inside the character called humanoid with a space in the end so you gotta remove that space i had a typo and that's why the if statement didn't run fix that remove that space test again and okay works perfectly awesome right nice. this will let you know exactly where your error is because you will instantly notice what part of the script is not running when you don't see the print that is meant for that specific part of the script it's very easy to understand right if you master debugging you'll be able to fix almost anything easily trust me i man that's all i got for today bro i'm telling 
telling you if you're not using this don't sleep on this and also very very good video coming out on friday so stay tuned for that anyways keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace